Hello, everybody. I'm Pastor Gail Mullen of Victorious Life Christian Center. I'm very happy to be coming into your home or wherever you're seeing or listening to this podcast. I just thank God for the opportunity of the technology, to be able to utilize the technology that's at hand. And so this evening or this morning or whenever you see this, I'd like to just minister to you. Uh, I was very inspired with this mini message by a song by Bashan Mitchell. And it's called Turning Around for Me. And I felt very encouraged by that because you know what? That's what God is able to do is to turn things around. I want to tell you what a miracle is. We serve a miracle working God. And then we're going to go to some of those lyrics. I'm only going to read just a couple of them. But a miracle is a supernatural intervention of God in the problem of your life. And so by believing in the power of God, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. At some point in your life, you will either be forced to live in the potential of your faith or with the consequences of your doubt. And so, beloved, today I just want to say, believe in miracles. I have seen miracles happen in my life. I've seen miracles happen in other people's lives. And God is yet on the throne, and God is a miracle-working God. And so I just want to read to you a couple of the lines from uh, God's Turning Around for Me, the lyrics. This is by Bashan Mitchell. Sometimes discouraged, but not defeated. Cast down, but not destroyed. There are times I don't understand, but I believe in a turning point that's turning around for me. I've seen, I've had struggles and disappointments. There are times I felt so all alone. Some of my friends, they let me down, but still believing it's turning around for me. Turning around for me, turning around for me, turning around for me, it's turning around for me. And beloved, I just want to say today as I come to you, uh, in your mind, in your heart, know that God is going to turn it around for good. Because the Bible tells me in John 10:10, 10, 10, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. That's a promise to you from God's word. The enemy comes to steal from you. You know, actually, I'm going to tell you something. The enemy comes to sift your belief in your faith. The enemy comes to sift your hope. Uh, just like Jesus told Peter, Satan desires to sift you as wheat, but I've prayed for you. And so, beloved, I want to tell you something. If you allow the enemy to do that in your time of weakness or time when things aren't going right, he will sift, sift your joy. He will sift your confidence. He will sift the word of God from your heart. He will sift you standing firm. He will sift and destroy everything that can cause you victory. And I know what sifting is about because I like to make cakes. And in the earlier days, I would always have to sift the flour. And I could take a clump of flour and by the time I got through sifting, it just came to fine powder. Well, I want to tell you something. That's what the enemy wants to do to you today, is to sift your faith so that there's nothing but a fine powder, or if anything, is left. To sift your joy, to sift your hope, to sift your tomorrows. But the devil is a lie, and he is defeated, and Satan is under our feet. I want to read to you a, a, a brief story of a young, of a man who had a son, as in Mark 9, 22. He had a son that had physical problems, and he brought this son to Jesus to heal. And so the scripture says in Mark 22, and often he had thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. And this was the father's reply. Immediately, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. And beloved, that's where we're at today. Many of you, you're going through situations, you're encountering things that you haven't quite countered before. And you say, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. 
Well, friends, I want to tell you, we serve a miracle working God and there is nothing too hard for God. Nothing too hard for God because he is the same yesterday, today and forever and he changes not. Well, the end of that story, it tells us about how Jesus healed that young man and the father was rejoicing and the young man was whole, healed, no more epileptics, no more issues. The boy was all right. And you know, sometimes we feel like we've been thrown in a fire. Situations kind of seem heated sometimes. But don't be dismayed by what you see. You know, I'm reminded in chapter 3 of Daniel about the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And because they would not bow to the image that Nebuchadnezzar had established or set up, and everyone was to bow to that image, and the three Hebrew boys, because their trust was in Yahweh, and they said, we are not going to bow. Even at the cost of our life, we are not going to bow. And so Nebuchadnezzar uh, had the boys thrown into the fiery furnace and heated up seven times hotter than it normally was. And when Nebuchadnezzar looked in there, lo and behold, there was not three, but there was four. And it was the Son of God. And I want to tell you something. In your fire, in your hard times, God is walking with you. You're not walking by yourself. You are not left alone. He is with you every single step in the way. And that's why he tells you, don't cast your confidence away, which has great recompense of reward. But believe and stand and know that you serve a miracle working God. That he's the same, as I said before, yesterday, today, and forever. And so despite what you see with your eyes, despite what you feel with your hands, your physical hands, despite what you feel in your body. Maybe you're going through physical pain right now. There's things going on in your body or the, the doctor has given you a medical report that's not pleasing to you. Or maybe it's something that you've heard. I want to tell you something. Don't cast your confidence away because you can experience a turnaround. And it's God that gives that turnaround. I, I know I wish I could say we do it on ourselves, but you know what we do? We believe God. We stand on the Word of God because the Word of God is our foundation. The Word of God is our support. And because the Word is true, it's yea and amen to every Christ follower, God is turning it around for you, for you, for you. So don't be despondent. Don't be depressed. You know, there's a scripture in Romans and I wasn't going to use it because it's kind of lengthy, but I'll, I'll go ahead and put it up anyway. Romans 8, 35, and it talks about God's love for us. It says, who shall separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulations or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or apparel or sword? As it is written, for your sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Beloved, I want to tell you something. And then this is what the scripture says. For I am persuaded. See, beloved, you've got to be persuaded in your own mind and heart. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able, let me read that again, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So beloved, I want to tell you something. As a Christ follower, you're going to experience hard times. I want to tell you that now. And it goes on to say, Neither height nor death, depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Friends, I want to tell you something. As a Christ follower, you are going to experience hard times. You know, I can't tell you that every day is going to be a sunny day. But I can tell you this. Every day, the sun does shine. And I'm talking about the Son of God, 
does shine in our life every single day. And so don't be dismayed, take heart, be encouraged, be strengthened, be rejuvenated, that you serve a God that will never leave you nor forsake you. You know what I love about God is because he never takes a vacation and he never takes a coffee break. And he'll never lie to you, nor can he die. So beloved, there's hope there. There's hope that where you put your trust, where you put your confidence, it is on solid ground. And everything else other than that, it's sinking sand. So I just want to tell you, be encouraged. L allow the Lord to lift your head, lift your spirits. Know that the word is working in your behalf. Know that God is in control. Nothing has taken God by surprise. Everything is in control. And God works in behalf of his children. That's why it's so important to be a Christ follower. God works in behalf of his children. He never slumbers, nor does he sleep. And if he said it, it will come to pass. The promises of God in his word to us is yea and amen. You can take that to the bank, beloved, and trust it. You can take that to the bank and say, I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what I'm going through. But I know that I know that I know that my God lives because he lives within my heart. I know that I know that I know that God's got everything under control because he is a miracle working God. He works miracles in my life. He intervenes in hard situations. He does the impossible and he makes the impossible possible. So friends, I just wanted to share with you today, don't lose heart, don't sit down, don't lay down, don't fall down. Listen, trust God and all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So God bless you. And we love you here at Victorious Life Christian Center. And I'd like to say that on July 12th, we will be opening our doors for our 11 o'clock service. And we invite you to join us. We have sterilized the facility and sterilized the seats. And we have masks and a temperature controller and um, every all the hygiene that's necessary, we have implemented them. And so if you would like to visit us, you are visiting a safe environment. Our address is 212 Southwest 41st Street, Renton, Washington, 98057. And we are in a business complex and we are building 11. And to give you an even greater idea of where we're located, we are located between Ikea and Highway 167. Ikea and 167. So that's where our, our complex is located that we're in. I want to make a correction here. Our address is 241 Southwest 41st Street, Renton, Washington, 98057. And so we invite you to join us. And uh, God bless you. It's a joy coming to you today. It's been a joy coming to you every Sunday. And I will be continuing. And so until we meet again, in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he shall, not maybe, but he shall direct your path. Blessings to you.